it's a it's a hairy beast. It's big, about eight foot tall, eight hundred pounds at least. Very fast. You can't you can't get you. You see him just for a second and he's gone. He likes to run down places like this. What's great about the Ohio area is there's a lot of deer. He likes to eat the deer. But, you know, if you see him, he likes to eat kids, too. So you got to run and be really vigilant about him. Like baby your way around it. It's a second. Yeah, well, oh over God. there, it should be called, like, the drum. Ooh, my legs are in pain. Why, would, why wouldn't they put those signs somewhere okay, right? not busy? So where we are today is we are in Salt Fort Park. Seth's watching stupid. He knows this is a no hunting zone, and this is why he hangs out in this area. Morgan's Trail is this way. What do you think? Let's go. Let's go. Wait, why don't we hold this? <laughs> We're walking down into an area known for Sasquatch sightings. This has been a hotbed of Sasquatch activity since the 1840s. Now this bush here is important because you see these berries? He likes to mix these with human body parts to get rid of the kind of the, the gamey taste we have. So this is a very important part of the source of food for, for Sasquatch. So Otherwise, we're on the right trail. We'll keep moving. Adds a bit sweet. Otherwise we would just be inedible. This is called the widow's thorn bush. This is what Sasquatch women like to use to beat their Sasquatch men with. Oh, 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 big fine, guys. Big oh, fine. Big Come fine. Here. Oh. Now, if I'm right, I think that's Sasquatch. Probably deer. Feces. Yeah. Stat. Scat. Now, we're close on his trail. Should be any moment now we'll see him. Let's get moving. I think I want to go over there. Yeah, I'm going to do a solo investigation up in the thick woods. Just me and my camera. Right here, we have some strange markings. If you know how to read Squatch, this says, This way, there is no Squatch. That's just their trick to try to throw people off. We're gonna continue in this direction. What we are finding as we get closer to the layer of the beast is that the terrain is getting more difficult to traverse. All that means is this is a better hiding spot for him. Come on, let's go. bigger trees and all people do is just peek around at people. The bigger the tree, the more chance you're going to find a squatch behind one. The line of pine trees is perfectly in a row. The Sasquatch uses this as a reference point to get from point A to point B without being spotted by the humans. As we return back to the trail and back to civilization, we have again been skunked by the Ohio grass man. He chose not to show himself to us in this trip, but we'll be back grass man.
We'll be back. It certainly was a disappointment that we didn't get to see Sasquatch today, but we certainly saw some good signs of them. Yep. We didn't get the $10 million this time, but certainly we're going to get it one of these days. Overall, I would have to put this trip as a, as a success. Yes. Um, we found, we found um, multiple signs of infestation, of squatchiness in this area. Um, and all we're going to say is Ohio is a very squatchy place. Okay, later when we come back at night, at midnight, it'll be a different story. Are we